Hello and welcome to the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to add and edit products with the WordPress eStore. Uh, so we get started here, we've logged into our WordPress dashboard and uh, I have a number of other tabs open. Uh, one is the, the page that I'm editing. I've also got the media library because I'm going to be adding images to each uh, product that I add. And I've also got this forum post open which displays all the short codes. So for displaying the, the shopping cart, for example, we just copy this short code over. But uh, the one we're going to be using is this one, because this displays an add to cart button with a stylish thumbnail image, product name, description, in a post or page. So to get started, we're going to be creating um, a product for this product here, the holiday helper. And we've got the description text here. So to get started, I go down to the WP eStore, add edit products. So I've got a blank area to fill out here. Product description, we just paste that information in there like so. And this is uh, HTML uh, enabled, so if you wanted to put a, a paragraph space in, you could just do so with this tag. Not necessary though, it's just if you want to break up the content. Um, we're then going to uh, get an image, so this can be changed later. I'm just going to click edit on the image and get the image URL. So you can do this by going to the media library, like so. If you don't have an image uploaded to your WordPress site already, you just click add new up here and add a new image. And then once it's uploaded, it will be here in the media library and just click edit and you'll be taken to a page where you can copy the URL of the image. So I go back to the uh, eStore, the product that I'm adding, and the thumbnail image URL. So it says this thumbnail image is used when displaying products with the fancy display option. So we've, we've got that option enabled, so we're going to have that image there. We're now going to go back and um, check the price, so the name is the holiday helper and put that in the product name and the price is 75 so that's pretty much it, you can add categories as well if you wish um, if there's a quantity you can add the quantity you can collect uh, customer input, you know what is your name um, you can offer commissions if it's downloadable you can um, put the link to the downloadable file and it will encrypt it automatically. Different variations if you wish, you can learn how to use them by clicking the links here. Uh, if there's a shipping cost with this item, you can add this here. And there's some instructions for buyer if you wish to have, have that added, you can. But all of this is not necessary, so we're going to save the product and to add it in the site, we're going to go back to copy our short code here. And it's in the services. So the holiday helper here, click edit the page. So we can simply remove all of this and just have the product. Now you'll see here we do have to change this one number because we already have product one down here. This is now product two. So I'm going to click update here and this short code is calling our product. So then we view the page. There we go, there's our holiday helper. Add to cart. We've also got uh, the basics below. And next we can add the couples package. So we simply, to do this, we copy the title of the product. We enter the price. We copy the description.
And this here, I'm going to put breaks at the end of these. So it's just open bracket, br, close bracket. Put a paragraph break there. We'll get a, um, a thumbnail image for this package. Again, this can be changed later, so I'm just going to pick any image here. And that's about it. All the other settings can be edited later. I'm going to go down to Save Product. And this will be Product ID 3. So we can manage our products by clicking this Manage Products tab here. And we see we've got our three products here, the price, the sales that we've had so far and um, again it's going to be quite straightforward for me to add this here I'm simply going to edit the page I'm now going to remove all of this content because I no longer need this paste this in here change this to 3 so update the page And there we go, we have three products within our services page. And when you click Add to Cart, you'll be taken to the shopping cart, where you can then check out with PayPal. So, everything's working fine. So that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.